from Sugar House in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This is Poker Night in America. Hello and welcome to Poker Nights in America. I'm Chris Hansen alongside Joe Stapleton bringing you cash game action tonight. It's night number one at Sugar House in Philadelphia. Sugar House is also what the ladies call the bedroom. Aw, oh, because you're such a sweetheart? Nope, because of the inordinate amount of candy I keep on my nightstand. Man, you are weird. I'm telling you, you're weird. Well, you know what they say. Better to be lucky than weird. No, it's not, it's not, no way. Forget it. Uh, let's take a look around the table and check out the starting stacks. Two thirds of the table has bought in for $10,000, while famed lawyer Linda Kenny Baden has bought in for 5K, and Dr. Gajan Jaganathan is in for 20K, as well as Mark Herm. A lawyer, a doctor, and the official state bird of Pennsylvania. Poker Night in America brought to you by Kimo Sabi Mescal. 25 and 50 are the blinds with an optional $100 straddle. Pretty dusty. Yeah. Pretty dusty. This is attorney Linda Kenny Baden. She's my favorite player at the table. His name sounds like a Supreme Court justice and a South Park character combined. Well, Mark Herm also has picked up a hand. I told you before, call me Hermie or Big Herm. How about Hermlicious? No, that, that doesn't work? Uh, it's a little too familiar for All me. Right. Actions on Joe McKeon. Man, winning the World Series of Poker main event has not changed Joe a bit, and that is not a compliment. This is a massive raise from Herm. This isn't the kind of raise you make when you love your hand, I don't think. That was a bad raise by me. <coughs> that, was, that was not a good raise. Up to 3,700 with Ace King. Pretty sure I had the worst hand. <laughs> Herm seems like he's really concerned about getting bluffed here. Even if Joe's blasting off with three, four Ace Jacks, not that big of a favorite. You go hard in cash too, huh? What? You go hard in cash too, huh? I have it. I mean, I'm not fucking. I see. You can play for him. With that hoodie on, Joe McKeon kind of looks like if you could cross Dennis the Menace with oh. Bill Belichick. It's just not a good look for Joe, but then again, that's his regular look. I've never been there. And the Venn diagram of people who are gonna get that reference is thin as always, Chris Hansen. Smell that heavy smoke. What's up? Smell that heavy smoke. No, like, can people smoke in here? I sure hope not. not in, well, obviously not in the bugger room, but... And it just smells like smoke. Am I not the only one? It smells small. Does it smell like smoke? It smells like so. smoke to me. Yeah, of course it smells like smoke. It's Philly. Smoke. It's the natural yeah. aroma. I would smell it. Really? Yeah. You smell the smoke? Yeah, it's... Can we do anything about that? Flops king yeah, high. A couple of hearts on board. Yeah. That smells. Doesn't Jeg and Nathan sounds I like the world's the worst the celebrity night. couple mashup name? How bad it was. There's not a lot of smoke in here. Matt Glantz bet 600. There's no smoking in here. And no, in the program. Glantz out of position, so he was looking to play with the betting lead. They can't, 100%. No way you can. Maybe they smell smoke because the poker action is hot, hot, hot here at Sugar House. Also, so hot, maybe we should be leaving it in an orderly fashion. No? No. Just, just me? Okay. The turn is a three of clubs, so now Jake and Ethan has a flush draw. Still there. 17. I say I can't breathe a lot, but now I'm serious. <laughs> but Glantz continuing to bet into him. Ace 10 was the best hand, still is the best hand. Glantz is doing a great job of telling a consistent story, though. Wow, uh, Jake and Nathan sniffs that one out, puts out a raise, and that makes Matt Glantz go goodbye. This is the hardest I think you've ever tried in this game. What's that? This is the hardest I think you've ever tried in this game. <laughs> nice try, Matt Glantz. Matt Glantz, one of the best triers in the game. He drove up from Maryland to Lang City, and there was there was a car on fire. Car on fire? Are the and Eagles having that good of a season? I don't know. We just did. We didn't. We didn't believe. We're like, what are you talking about? Cars aren't on fire. I'm like, I'm trying to remember the story, but basically, it was just him saying, him saying that cars catch fire all the time, insisting. It went on for like two hours. This conversation. The cars 
will catch fire. Well, he, he, see every, make some he sees them every day. No, no. He just says he sees he sees it every day. Again, this is another time. huge race for Herm. Thing, see cars catch fire on the side of the road, and it's like a daily occurrence. So that was just it's just always a joke that everyone makes fun of him for. How did you how did you find out about that? With that Twitter thing. And you tweeted about it though. Yeah, but I got it from that. Oh. That's just a Billy thing. You hang out with Billy? No, I saw him at Whole Foods and he didn't say hello to me. That was. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here, Aaron? He's gonna raise. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to fold the best hand. Turning Jack 10 into a bluff. I don't hate it. Ace Queen is typically only gonna get this much action from hands that have it crushed, but this guy may have just put the word fish in Fishburg. Well, the cookies are all in the oven. Herm is all in. Action's back on Fishburg. 6,600 to call. That'd be for the rest of the chips. Oh my God. Finally got them through. Looks like we have hit Herminal Velocity. I'm gonna sell like a five. So Fishburg puts in 54 big blinds pre with Jack 10 off, but then folds. I've made a huge mistake. Stay tuned. We'll be back in a moment, just as soon as we put out the fire in Fishburg stack. Sorry, Greg, we love you. I'm with Kelly Winterholter here in kind of the Kimosabi Mezcal area, the trusted friends area. And um, she smashed me up a little day at poker. I didn't like that very much. <laughs> Um, but how did you find poker? I mean, you, you have some skills. I really just showed up on a whim. Uh, I was bored on a Friday night. I came in to play. I played 3-6 Limit for the first time. How many years ago? Two years ago. I was instantly intrigued by the game. I think within the first week of playing, just recreationally, I picked up a poker book. It felt like the game um, was just very compatible with the way my mind worked already, um, and I just fell in love with it. Cheers to you. Cheers. Little Kimosabi Mezcal. Trusted friends. Trusted friends. I think when I was like six years old, my family was like, what are you doing when you grow up? I'm like, I'm gonna own a casino. So uh, I just always felt like I had a gambling mentality. That's kind of how I ended up here. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. Let's get back to the pokers. So Chris. McKeon's back in the straddle. Did we force him to straddle? Because poker players are basically slaves, you know. Chris, I'm gonna take 2K off, okay? Glance pumps it up to 300. Yeah, getting a little loose with King 10. <laughs> Kenny Baden calls. Action on Herm. The Herminator hates entering a pot for less than a grand. I'll be stacked. It might be worth it. I limit my losses. Is that what you're telling me to do? Huh? Is that what you're telling me to do? No, I said I'm, I was going to do it. And there it is. He brings it up to 1150. Gotta wonder if Glance knows what a live wire this guy is. Looks like he does. Glance is in position. Technically, he's behind. He folds, and so let's see if Kenny Bodden wants to see a flop with her sevens. And this is a lot to call for in a pot where you're very likely to hate the flop no matter what it is. All right, I'll see a flop. I'll see a flop. Twenty-seven hundred in the pot as we go to the flop. And look at that—a set of sevens for Kenny Bodden. Okay, well, whatever, Linda. Way to make me look like a jerk. <laughs> Bottom pair for Herm, and this guy is going to cause his stack some serious Herm. Is he hemorrhaging chips right now? He could very well be hemorrhaging. I hope he has a sense of hermor about it. Linda doesn't have the nuts, but against a guy as live as this one, you're more than happy to get all the chips in. Turn as a jack. Well, let me ask you this, Stapes. Who do you think is gonna win, her or herm? Now, Linda fires out 1,300, takes over the betting. Herm. 
Oh, how about that? How about that? How about that? Cash me outside. All in, Linda. Here we go. You know, the more crooked Herm's hat is, the more out of line he plays. It's his Oreo. Linda calls. Thank you, guys. I mean, you might as well put them all in the middle. Where is he going at this point? Thank you. With what you've got left in front of you. 8,500 in the pot as we go to the river. Oh, boy. Ace on the river gives Herm two pair. Linda's about to get paid off, but she checks. All in? Call. Cool. Here comes the bad news. Jax. <laughs> is, it, is it okay to laugh? Are we, are we laughing at this guy? A chuckle, not full laugh, okay. just chuckle. <laughs> How about that? Has G's heard from Mangor this weekend? He's been playing him. I mean, I know he's playing the, earlier this last week, but this weekend anything? Yeah, he's, playing, he's been playing him. Oh, right now? Do you, do you have Snapchat? He had yeah. some epic snaps. Really? Yeah, look, you gotta watch. I never turn it on. because him needling the mangler. Oh, that's funny. He hates him. Oh my it's god, so it's rude amazing. To him. Yeah, but, but supposedly yeah. Mangler is like the biggest needler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never seen him say a word though. Is he mean to other people? Mangler? No. Mangler? Not really. He's just weird. He's just a weird dude. All right, back to the poker. Kenny Bodden's got Ace King. She initially raised it to 300. Him and Herm is now up to 850. That Asian kid, did they have beef? Like, why were they always? Oh. He was playing this Asian kid heads up. Oh, Twan? At pretty high limits. I'm not sure. It was at Parks. And yeah, Twan. Playing. And they were playing like every day for like two weeks, I felt like. Just going. Oh, you talking about a long time? A while ago? Yeah, maybe six to eight months, maybe a year ago. Oh, that wasn't Twan. That was. Um... Yeah, it did, it, I don't think Twan was the, the name that I remember. I gotta remember the guy's name. But they were just going oh, at Badugi, it. They call him Badugi Sean. Yeah, Sean, that's it. <laughs> they were just going at it. No, they like they like each other. They do like They're each other. Okay. Both DJs. I felt, uh, I felt both like it was so personal DJs. at one point. I don't know much about this Herm guy, but he sure seems to hate money. Was money mean to him when he was a kid, maybe? Or? <laughs> money killed his parents. And now he just spends his life trying to get even with <laughs> money by hating it so much. Destroying it and yeah. lighting it on fire. Okay, good. Well, each player's in for 2,000. So we got 6,100 in the middle as we go to the flop. And Linda Kenny Bodden's got everyone pretty much drawing dead. This is fantastic. She just won a $14,000 pot, and now she just crushes this flop. $2,400 the bet from McKeon. Really bad flop for Joe McKeon. Kenny Bodden is a distinguished defense attorney, works on a lot of high profile cases. Right now she's in a high profile hand. Well, Herm decides he's finally gonna fold. Here comes the turn, that is a three of hearts. That's a bad card for Joe, that's gonna look good. It's gonna be really tough for him to think he's beat here. Another ace on the river. What a terrible run out for Joe McKeon. His number is 3,300. Luckily for him, I don't think Kenny Botton can raise. She calls just in case he had made a flush. And McKeon is out kicked like Team USA in the World Cup. Ooh, sick soccer reference. Nice hand. Thank you. With the King of Hearts. Mm -hmm. wow. Linda Kenny Bodden, bringing it. I think the first time I played, I was a little bit in awe of being there with all these professionals, and I'm much more confident now. And uh, they've been great to me. They have treated me with a lot of respect, you know, not like, ha-ha, here she is, some kind of novice. And I've learned watching them, too. I've learned a lot watching them and how they play, how they three bet. Uh, and uh, that's been the biggest lesson. Poker Night in America is brought to you by our trusted friend, Kimosabi Mezcal. Why settle for tequila? Step up to Kimosabi. 
big winner in the game. Yeah. Well, it could go down as quickly as it came up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Two hands away. Yeah, way, from, way, two I'm not, hands I'm away not really believing that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't actually know if it can go down as quickly. Yeah, no, I'm <laughs> trying to, I don't think, I don't know. Uh, yeah, the likelihood of that happening is like one in 67,000. <laughs> Fishberg straddling, Glance raising, Queen 10 suited. Kenny Bodden's in, suited connectors for her. Poker Night in America brought to you by Kimo Sabi Mescal. Looks like Jack and Ethan has a re-raising hand. Oh yeah, ace queen off. There is somebody who's sitting immediately to the right of Matt Glantz. I'm not sure who that is. I'm trying to get confirmation. We're gonna work on that. I still don't know who that player is. It's been at the table all night and hasn't done a darn thing. Might just be a person looking for a warm place to sit. Oh, it kind of looked like Todd Brunson. Is that who it was? No, I don't think so. This guy was a, had a beard. Sounds like Todd Brunson. Ace high flop. Glance with a little bit of a loose peel here, but flopped a straight draw. Jake and Nathan bet 1,700. That won't get rid of Glance, but that will get rid of Kenny Bodden, I'm guessing. All in. All in. Okay, yeah, that's one of the options. All in for 5,100. It's 5K. Or no, yeah, 5K. And up, Glance has decided he's never folding, so he's gonna try to get hands like kings and queens to fold and just so live 30, and die by this draw. Uh, Maybe another 150 more. Uh, 3450. Just making sure I had the majority of it right. All right. He ultimately does call. Am I just dead? Brick on the turn. Hit on the river. Wow. And unlike my last three Amazon packages, Matt Glantz gets there. So I had this. I had the uh, higher straight play. You had my three. So, so you were in good shape on the turn. I was, <laughs> I was in better shape. I was in bad shape. <laughs> So that's why oh, I want to check. Been, that is why I want to check raise the river though. <laughs> that would have been a funny. That would have been a funny thing. Yeah, that would have been really funny that for that you, not been, for me. <laughs> then to Kenny Bodden on the button. Then you would have felt committed on the the river, so you would have won the hand anyway. Jack eight worth two hundred bucks to Kenny Bodden. Wow. Crushing. Crushing. Herm raises with oh, suited kings. Sure. Hello. Hello, 1940s newsroom. Hope nobody has a flush draw. Sounds like a hot tip. We'll get right on it. Stop the presses. That's great. It's almost impossible for you to win on the river. Heads We're heads up with Herm and Kenny Bodden. Top pair for Kenny Bodden, flush draw for Herm. Top pair versus flush draw. That old confrontation like gladiator with sword and shield versus gladiator with trident and net. Which do you take in that? Situation. I'm a trident net guy. I go sword, so you and I could have a good battle. I'm not sword fighting with you, Chris. I've told you that before. 550. Okay. 550 was the bet from Herm, raised to 1100 from Kenny Bodden. With Matt's money. It's 1000? 1100. I think the money could go in here. I'm going to make it 2200 total. What is going on with that hat? It's like the most intentional look ever. No one accidentally puts their hat on like that. Maybe he looked in a really bad mirror and put that hat on. Well, there's something bad about it. Need more shoes for that child? Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> yes. So Kenny Bodden facing a race. She can't be loving it with just top pair, but this guy shows up with it less often than me with a coupon to Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, and the spades get there on the turn. Maybe Linda gets away now that the spades hit. 18. Could be why she just called. 1,800. And I like Herm's attempt to bet here. Another spade hits the river, and he definitely won't get paid. This bet's really small relative to the size of the pot. And now that you pointed out that the hat is crooked, it's really got me crooked. Like, <laughs> see? Now I can't take it. That's all I see. I think he might have given something away there by looking at her chips. No, no, no. I, I wasn't looking at them. Wow, she calls. Four, 
Board pairs on the river does not change anything about who's winning this hand. The Herminator. I won't be backed. 2,900. 2,900. And again, betting really small. This is less than a third of the pot. He's making this pricing really tempting for top pair. It's like when you see something at a store you know you don't need, but it's such a good deal you kind of want to buy it anyway, like Home Alone 3 on DVD for like a dollar. Because you would watch it at least once, and they're like, oh, well, I know I'd watch it once. I mean, for a dollar, I'd put a drink on it. Linda does on the river what she should have done on the turn. She folds. Good hit. Thanks. All right, guys, we're going to call that dinner break. Aw, oh, geez, Tad. Way to be such a buzzkill. Oh, uh, my stupid brother's back. Finally. Uh, Herm finally wins a few back from Linda. She was able to get away correctly on the river, though, and now we need to get away from you with a quick commercial break. BRB. See me on my table, Captain, at always, I'm always tell people to straddle, to not do this, to not do that. So I just always like, I think when I was like six years old, my family was like, what are you doing when you grow up? I'm like, I'm gonna own a casino. Like, you know what I mean? I just loved the casino lifestyle. It was something I always was in tune to. So uh, I just always felt like I had a gambling mentality. I loved playing cards. I liked the psychological side of the game and that's kind of how I ended up here. Poker Night in America is brought to you by our trusted friend, Kimosabi Mezcal. Why settle for tequila? Step up to Kimosabi. Welcome back to Poker Night in America at Sugar House in Philadelphia. Let's take a look at the chip counts as our first night is put on hold. Linda Kenny Bodden and Matt Glantz managed to book sizable profits while Greg Fishberg and Joe McKean are deep in the hole to start things off. For more from Poker Night, visit PokerNight.com or find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch for up-to-date information, full episodes, and unedited live streams. Don't I have tens? I, I didn't know. I was confused. You played it it was a very confusing hand, wasn't it? <laughs> I was confused, and I was yeah, in it. I was confused. I thought you had jacks. You, had, I you incinerated him, actually. Yeah, you really did. Played it really well. <laughs> Thank you. Poker Night in America is brought to you by Kimosabi Mezcal.